Hello, my name is Brad Cotton from Cotton Innovations Limited. One of the things that uh, we're really interested in doing is working with companies and working with people and organisations and helping them develop their processes, developing what they do and how they do stuff. One of the things that I often hear people talking about is we need a new strategy, we need to uh, develop our processes, whether they be whether it be a strategy for our business, for our social or for whatever the organisation is that you're in. All of them have the same four things that we need to understand. So when we talk about strategy, we're actually talking about the wrong thing. The first plain thing we need to do is understand what it is we need to achieve. And we call this the aim. Now the aim is really important because if you don't understand your aim, you're in a real problem. Because the aim is all about where do you want to get to. Strategy is not an aim. Strategy is a set of tools that you intend to deploy or a methodology that you're going to deploy those things with. So you need to first of all have a clear view of what is your aim. So the next thing we then need to understand is the next circle around that. This one is called our strategy. Now when we talk about our strategy there are three things we need to understand. Those three things are really important. All strategies have three things. They're the only three things that you have. And we could take our aim and we could split this into three strategies. The first strategy is people. Your strategy needs to be about how you're going to develop your people, how they're going to be involved in going forward, and all the things you need to understand there. The second one are about your processes. How you do things, how you process things, how you manipulate things, how you get things to work through your organisation. You, they have to be part of your strategy. Are you going to keep them? Are you going to revamp them? Are you going to redesign them? You need to understand which processes we keep, which ones we develop, which ones are out of scope at this point in time. And then the last one is your IT and services. Currently what sort of platforms are you using? What sort of technologies are you using? How are you using those technologies to develop and move yourself forward? These are your strategies. So when we talk about a strategy, a strategy is a deployment of an aim. So that's what we need to understand first is what is your aim? Then what is your strategies? Now that I've got these two things in place, I can now ask the next question, to deliver those strategies, I need to understand what are we going to do. We call those objectives. And surprisingly, they split with my three as well. Now, within each one of these, there will be multiple objectives. Those objectives will be, I'm going to replace my IT system. They're going to be, I'm going to update this process. They're going to be, I'm not touching this process this time. They're going to be, I need to go and develop my people. I need to bring new people into my organisation. These are my objectives of what I've got to do. So when we're talking about redesigning your organisation strategy or trying to refocus your strategy, first thing we need to understand is, what is it you want to hit? Second thing we need to understand is, what three deployments are you going to use? What strategies are you going to use? And then those objectives, how do these then break down into smaller subgroups so we can de deliver each one of those in turn? That then leaves us with one extra piece left over now. And that extra piece we can call the measurables. and we carry these three lines all the way out. Now for each one of these objectives we have a set of measurables. Now what do we mean by measurables? Well it's quite simple. When are you going to do it? So these are all your time dependent activities. Who's responsible? Who's going to be delivering it? What will success look? Now I have an ability to start looking at creating my strategy. And my strategy is actually, I need to deliver this aim. This aim is built on these three strategies. How am I going to place those together? 
Those are then set on these objectives of what tasks we need to do. And those tasks are against this timeline here. So now we're able to look at this and say, right, okay. Other words that are used, we sometimes hear people talk about uh, smart objectives. Well, these are my smart objectives. This is when I'm going to do it. This is who I'm going to do it with. This is a, a achievable, it's targeted, it's realistic, it's deployable. Um, we also hear people talk about a balanced scorecard. BSC, balanced scorecard. This is my balanced scorecard because it shows me how am I resourcing my costs, my, my time, my people, my activities, along with running my business at the same time to make sure we have equal focus on all of these elements together. So if you want to redesign your strategy, talk to us. Come and talk to us at Cont Innovations. Um, uh, come and talk, give, me a, give me a shout on an email, and I'd love to sit down and talk with you more about how we can help you develop your strategy. I hope this has been useful. Over the next month, we're going to be looking at each one of these in turn and how we can start to explore those and, and help you develop those ideas because within each one of these subgroups is things you need to understand as to how you're going to move your strategy forward. It's been great talking with you today. Have a great week and enjoy your starting to develop your strategy. Thank you. Goodbye.